Oh, hey, listen, everybody. I'm doing a video about um, a, a poverty mentality. Something just came to me. Now, I am in Arizona with my cousin. This is my cousin. Hey, cuz. Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right, so, um, and we are on our way to the Grand Canyon, and we're about to have a helicopter ride over the Grand Canyon. But look, I, we're, let me show you. <laughs> we're in the desert. So I don't know, I hope y'all can see that good, but we're in the desert and I know growing up, you know, I'm a movie fiend. I've always addicted to movies and watch movies all, all my life. And whenever I would see cars and movies driving down a desert on a road where there's no, no gas stations, no, uh, no stops. Like if we broke down right now, you know, what, there's nothing around really. It's desert, you know what I'm saying? But in the movies when I saw that, that used to freak me out because I had a poverty mentality. I always had hoopties. I always had cars that would break down, just breaking down, driving in the city of Detroit. We and my kids and it's hot and the air ain't working and we ain't had no air, it's just hoopties. And I, for some reason I felt like that would always be my life. I just never really, I just thought that I'd be always on the verge of only making it and having a car that you just don't put in those kind of situations because you liable to break down because you drive, you like hoopties is your life. And it has been my life for the majority of my life, you know. I'm in my 50s now, so, you know, but but I, I because of that mentality, I just could never imagine doing what I'm doing right now. Um, and I didn't even realize I had a poverty mentality because it was such a fear. I used to look at people with like, that's what you get. You, that's, you should have broke down because you out there in the desert like that. Ain't no gas station around. You should know better than that. You know, but they had nice cars. They had they believed their car would make it, it just didn't for some reason. And, they, and then if it did break down, they just believed that things would work out for them. But I had such an anxiety, such a fear, such a expectation of my hoopties or my cars always breaking out, and that's why they always did. For one, I manifested that fear I always had about them, and they just gave me what I was thinking. When I changed my thoughts, my life changed. So. Again, I hope this makes sense. I may have to add some more to it because I'm driving and I want to focus and I'm holding the camera. So, but but uh, but I but I just wanted to say I think that this is uh, it just was a revelation to me and I wanted it, it showed me the poverty mentality I had and how we manifest more of what we thinking and how I'm doing something I thought I would never do and I feel totally comfortable doing it and excited. But I'm also in my cousin's car. <laughs> All right, so let me get off this phone, y'all. I'll talk to you later.